Okay? Go. Right, the, um, I'm not going to talk about how I did these paintings, which is very different. I'm going to tell a story. The actual fact, um, a woman came into the art gallery and looked at my exhibition, and she started talking about, oh, there's a lot of Catholicism in this, in this, uh, in this uh, work. And I thought, that's interesting. And anyway, she, I found out she was born three streets away from me, and her sister went to a Notre Dame High School that my sister went to in Glasgow. So we had a little talk about the Catholicism. And I thought what I'd do is put the paintings up, but I'm going to tell a story first. I went to a school, we talked about this school, me and this woman, and her brothers went to the same school as me, St Thomas Aquinas, which in actual fact was a, a, a secondary school um, that they built uh, in Highland, near, um, uh, near where I lived. Well, and uh, it was a um, very, very new school. But Catholicism, uh, it almost summed it up the school. The school had two playgrounds. It had a separate playground for the girls, a separate playground for the boys. The, um, the, class, the, the school was never allowed to mix. No, no boys or girls mixed in any classes whatsoever. The, um, it was an incredible situation. You even when you were not allowed to walk down the, the left hand side of the corridor, because that was the girls' part of the corridor. It, it was incredible, they, they, they segregated us the, like you'd never believe. The only time we could ever meet the girls was when we had to practice dancing for the school dance, which I think is... Anyway, one day, this young music teacher, who was, to say, not very street-wise, uh, took us down to the hall with all the girls in year 11, and we went, we went down, and we so we did this practice dancing, and uh, they, he went off to teach violin, and left all the boys and girls together in the hall. So we were messing around. This was uh, in, incredible for us because we, we, so we started messing around. And one of the things that we did was there was a, a girl called Franny, who was really beautiful. She got thrown out of Notre Dame school. And she came to us. And there was a guy who was one of my best friends called Jimmy Lockhead, who was actually a really, really good looking guy. And Franny and him were the sort of, she was the most beautiful girl in the school, and he was the most handsome guy. So we decided to marry them off. And we took the cover from the piano, the school piano, and we put it on Franny, and then we got a snake belt and put it around her head, and we got daffodils and we stuck it around her. And uh, I, <laughs> I had to turn my school jumper around and my school shirt, so I became a priest, right? Um, we wanted somebody who could play the wedding march on the school organ, and we couldn't find anybody. But Lofty, who was an English guy who we thought was amazing, he was from Fulham in London, and we thought he was really top world. And he, he said, I can play the House of the Rising Sun. And we said, that's it. House of the Rising Sun, so we're not going to the wedding march, but the House of the Rising Sun will do. Right, so we do that, and we start it off. And then this guy called Murta, who was a bit of a boffin in the school, he said, oh, I'll get the microphone working in the pulpit. The pulpit went up like that, and the head used to stand in the pulpit quite high up and bring high messages down to us. So, so we switched on the microphone, so I had a microphone. And so I'm the priest. So we get up there and I start off. Do you take this? And my best Peter Sellers uh, acts, uh, imitation. I do. Uh, do you take this most esteemed and honourable rag bag to be your lawful wedded wife? Right? There's a girl crying because she's overcome by the beauty. She was actually playing Franny's mother. She was crying because it was all so beautiful. And Lottie's playing the House of the Rising Sun. And suddenly, all the bloody doors in the hall burst open. And all these teachers come in. And in our school, they had what they call honours capes on. They were like black. 
and looked like a load of black crows had flown into the school hall. And the headmaster came charging up, and there's me, dressed as a priest, and the head comes running up, and I hide in the pulpit, and he comes running up, and he says, I knew it was you, Cummings. And what had happened was Marta, when he turned on the microphone for the pulpit, had turned on the whole tannoyed system for the school. And so every classroom, which, which had a speaker in it, suddenly the speaker crackled and out came, do you take this most esteemed and honourable right back to be your lawful wedded wife? The house of the rising sun. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> I can't believe it. And, and this woman crying <laughs> because it was so beautiful, the wedding. And, and that was it. And that, that was it. I got expelled. Anyway, for impersonating the priest. They let me back in, by the way. But I, I just thought it sort of summed up the whole ethos. And so that's why, in a, in a funny sort of way, if you look at Spiller, I think I, we got a, a BA honours in guilt. So, so, so I started to do the images of uh, sort of crucifixions, and, which is uh, the, 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 the kilt and the, the crucifixion and the punk hairdo. And this is called the Yellow Christ after Gauguin, because of course Gauguin was brought up a Catholic, and he was full of all that stuff. So this is the Yellow Christ according to Gauguin. But one of the most interesting things I did is because because when you brought up with that, you know, you're burning hell and, and you know, uh, all, all to do with conscience and, uh, you know, it, it was a very, very difficult childhood. And, uh, and you end up uh, developing a sort of personality, which is, I think, a false personality, really. A kind of, um, where, where everything's built from the outside in, rather, than developing something internal to you. So, so it, it was very difficult. So, so in actual fact, I created a, an image of myself, which is my self-portrait, of a kind of ghostly image. And it's not, it's not meant to be serious, but it's a kind of ghostly image of what Catholicism does for you. <laughs> uh, and and I, I really sort of uh, find this quite interesting as my self-portrait.